Hello, hello. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I do. Um, I'm having a pretty good day today. And I've been keeping busy and trying to get my mind off of things. And, you know, just kind of staying focused so that I can get the recording done and stay in a decent mood and not get too poopy. Um, I was really excited to do this video. Oh, is this video? Do I have to readjust the video? Is it cutting off my head? Hmm, hang on. Is that better? Just to get a little closer. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I'm in a, an okay mood. Uh, my husband and I have been chatting and, um, you know, helping each other through this tough time. We miss our doggy, and I know it's going to be a process. So, but, um, yeah. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I am very squirrel today. Uh, a little little wired, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of helping me keep busy and get through this. So um, I was, I figured, ah, let me just jump in and stay focused and um, get my Friday First Impressions recorded while I am doing okay for the moment. Um, I have some neat things. It's pretty much makeup. But um, there are a couple other different things in here that I want to um, do a, an impression on. Now, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am enjoying doing it. It is giving me um, a chance to kind of reflect and really evaluate the products I'm using and, and do I really like them and, um, you know, rate them as, you know, kind of how important they are <laughs> in my life and, uh, what do I love them? Do I like them and stuff like that. So it is very helpful for me too, which, you know, I like, so I hope y'all are enjoying this series. Um, I know that, um, you know, just a little tidbit of information. Um, I know I've changed things up a little bit on my channel. I've been trying to come up with some new ideas and different content. And, um, you know, I'm not changing, you know, the idea of my channel, which is pretty much, um, you know, beauty and makeup and unboxings and get ready with me's and stuff like that. Um, I'm just adding to it. I'm just trying to branch out a little bit and come up with different ideas and stuff like that. And, um, part of that process for me is there's like this, what do we want to call it? YouTube etiquette, <laughs> which you, um, when I come up, when I brainstorm and come up with different ideas and stuff like that, I, I research them. I go through YouTube and, um, you know, and I see if anyone else is doing the same thing. Um, not only like for my Friday first impressions, not only did I research Friday first impressions, like does anybody else have this specific series? I do not want to steal that from somebody. No way. Um, and they didn't. There were a couple that came up, but they were from like five years ago. So, and they're not really channels that are active anymore. So that was fine. I think there was actually just one of them for the exact, you know, or almost similar name as Friday First Impressions. Obviously, a lot of people do First Impressions. Um... But there again, I did research, um, first impressions on multiple items. So, um, as far as like a series of, hi, 
this is my weekly first impressions of these products and stuff like that. And again, there weren't really any other um, beauty channels out there that were doing it. So um, that is, you know, part of YouTube etiquette <laughs> where you, you know, kind of be respectful and mindful. And, you know, I've been doing this under two years. So it's definitely as still a newer person on here, something that I want to maintain and a level of respect for the beauty community and, you know, for not just my friends, but, you know, for other people out there that are investing their time and energy and coming up with ideas. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> um, and a lot of, you know, the brainstorming ends up getting, you know, cut short because it's something that someone else is already doing. And um, there have been a couple things in the past, ideas that, I've used, um, not used the exact same thing. I've never, you know, taken the exact idea from somebody and duplicated it. Um, but, I, you know, I have contacted somebody and said, hey, I love what you're doing. I love this idea. I love this concept. Um, this is what I was thinking about. Do you mind if I, you know, kind of use part of this idea you know i've i'm building it into my own concept but it's still taking a little bit from yours and by you know reaching out again there's such a level of respect there and i've never been turned away i've only done done it needed to do it like once or twice but once i've explained and in addition to that i give the person credit in my video like i'll say very very specifically oh my gosh, you know, so-and-so had this great thing on their channel and I took bits and pieces of it and they were fine with it. So I want to say thank you so much. So either way, um, I love you guys so much. And I just, you know, I know that you, you know and understand that this is a process and that um, it's not easy. <laughs> here on YouTube. <laughs> There's so much, you know, I want to say competition, um, but you know, there's a lot of people out there doing similar things. So you really got to work hard to find your own niche. And I think that's such an important thing is to have your own road that you go down on this YouTube journey. And if it's something you're thinking about or something you've just gotten into and you're playing around with, um, please know I do understand it's not easy. And I'm more than happy, you know, I know that I've, I've helped out some people and, you know, they, y'all have come to me with questions and stuff like that. And I'm always here if y'all need anything. Um, I am far from a pro. <laughs> But, um, I do love you guys and, um, I just, you know, not only did I want to touch upon that, but I also, you know, I feel like it says a lot about me as a person, the way that I handle myself and that level of etiquette, you know, here on YouTube, um, because, you know, through doing collabs and having friends here, the last thing you want to do is, you know, take some of their ideas or, you know, ride their coattails and stuff like that. Um, I pride myself in really just working hard to develop my own stuff. And I do have a couple new ideas coming up. So stay tuned for those. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, I'm already almost 10 minutes into this. <laughs> I didn't plan on going into such detail on that. Um, and I do apologize, but let me get to my first impressions. And um, so we can move on. I probably won't do all of them that I have today, but um, I will get to as many as I can. Okay. <laughs> Friday first impressions. Yay. <laughs> all right. The first thing I want to show you is a palette from Melt. Isn't this packaging cool? This box? I got this palette from my bestie, um, Jeannie, and she sent me this palette because she is just the sweetest person in the world. 
And look at this. BTW, I will link Jeannie's channel up here because I love her. And y'all need to check her out. I'll link her down in the description. Oh, no. She'll be at the end of my video, too, in a little bobblehead. That's what I'll do. Okay. So, here's the palette. Now, I used this palette today. And it took me three tries because um, there's ooh, one specific color in here that I wanted to use. And here's the palette. Look, isn't that the coolest thing? Isn't that neat? Just the layout and it's like a, like steps. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I was dying to incorporate this color right here. Right there, into my look. So, it, I actually it took me three tries. Um, so, that's part of the reason I'm kind of in a decent mood is because I've been playing with makeup for a few hours. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the, this is the look I came up with and I used, um, that bright pink, some of the oranges and then this really nice maroon down here. Can you see it? So I had so much fun when I finally came up with the look I wanted. And then I found a nice lippy that I thought went good with it. So, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> okay, so this palette is an absolute five. The pigments are incredible. The shimmers are beautiful. They work with just a brush. Like, you don't even need a packing brush with these shimmers. They are phenomenal. This brand, Melt, outstanding. They blend beautifully. <sighs> everything. I can't say enough good things. In addition to that, Jeannie, I love you, my girlfriend. You are so good to me. I cannot thank you enough for such a beautiful palette. Okay, moving on. This is a brush cleaner with my hair on it. Okay, this is from MAC, and it is brush cleaner, okay, and the, I got the French name for it or something, and it's by MAC. Now, I have a couple brush cleaners that um, do like more of a deep cleaning on my brushes, but um, with this one, I'm obsessed with it. Now, this one I keep on my makeup table. I take the top off, and when I am done with a brush, like an eye brush, um, and primarily like doing, you know, most of my eye makeup and stuff like that. Um, because if I need to use the brush again, I don't, I, don't, I can't have it wet. But anyway, um, when I'm done with a brush specifically, I dip it inside the top of this and on my makeup table. And then I have a paper towel or a washcloth that I rub it out on and I always keep the shape of your brush. That's very, very, very important. Don't be too, too rough on your brush. Um, sometimes I dip it one more time, clean it off, but it cleans the brushes incredibly. This is a five. I found this on Mercari because I purchased a I'm putting a five down on the bottom. I purchased a few different brush cleaners because I wasn't quite sure what I, I was looking for. Um, and this was one of the ones I bought. And now this, the MAC one, has become really my go-to brush cleaner. Um, except when I do more of a deep cleaning and I, I and and when I wash my larger brushes because my larger brushes obviously don't fit in this bottle head. So, um, I do have another brush cleaner that I use for, you know, the deeper cleans, but absolutely love this. Works incredible, um, on, you know, every day or two, just, um, um, dip it in, dip your brush in, wipe it off and get any, you know, leftover gook on it. And, um, it's very mild, really, really good. Okay. 
next. And I'm trying to buzz through these so this doesn't take forever. Okay, this I got on in the boxy add-ons. Now, I was really, really, really excited about this because I love Becca products. This is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer uh, Perfecting Base. Here's that. Now, honestly, I only used it once. Maybe I should have used it more than once, but I was so turned off by it that it just was, it just bugged the heck out of me. Um, is my eyelash coming off? No, it looks okay. That inner corner is bugging me. Um, Anyway, okay, used it once. Put it on. Obviously, I did my morning routine. Um, I got, you know, washed off, you know, the my creams and my night creams and all my stuff from the night before. Toned. Um, did my eye cream. Did my moisturizer. For the day. Let, always, 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 I always let my moisturizer sit for a good 30 minutes to an hour. Went back in, put this on. Now, it went on fine. It felt pretty good. There really wasn't like, um, here, let me, it's like a peach color. Oh, is that going to focus on you? No. Oh, okay. Um, that's, if you can see that there, it doesn't really have like a shimmer or anything to it. But, oh, here, look, look at my finger. That's what it does. It does like, and look at my hand. Look at the balls. It pills right up. It drove me crazy. I was like, like as soon as after I put it on and it sat for a minute, I went to touch my face and it was just balls of primer. I just felt so dirty. It just was horrible. It was like, like I said, like these, um, it was like dead skin coming off my face. It was, it was horrible. I was like, OMG, no, 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 not for me. Um, my Tarte primer doesn't do that. You know, I, I do not have that problem with primers. So, I am not going to put up with that. No, no, no. So, this baby got a two. Yes. Not happy with it. Um, it didn't cost me much just because I did get it on um, the boxy add-ons. So, that was the only saving grace for it. That it didn't break my bank getting it. Um, other than that, though, I was so disappointed. I wanted to love it. I really, really did. Um, but it just, yeah. Sorry, Becca. So sorry. Okay. Now, oh, I'm going to do another primer. Because, oh, where did I get this? I don't know. I got it in one of my boxes. This is the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Pores no more. Here's the Dr. Brandt part. Is that another hair of mine on here? Um, is this what it looks like? And when it says it's luminizer, it is. Um, it's got a really pretty kind of shimmer to it, but it's not extreme. Like it doesn't turn you into a shimmer ball. 
Um, it's really pretty. Actually, you can kind of see the shimmer a little bit on my hands. Um, but it went on beautifully. This I'm giving a, um, ooh, I don't know. I'm going to give it a four. And the only reason why I'd give it a four, there we go, um, is because I don't really see a difference with my pores. Um, if you're going to say pores no more, then I expect to say pores no more. <laughs> no, I mean, not maybe not that extreme, but at least a, a minimizing impact on my pores. And I really didn't notice that much with this, but it did go on beautifully. It sits really, really nicely under makeup. Um, no pilling, no balls and stuff like that, which is really super nice. And um, I did really, really like it. So, um, yeah. All right. What else we have? Okay. What time is it? All right. So, I got this off of Macari to try. And I actually got it and then forgot I got it. Now, hold on. I need my glasses for this. You know me. I love my Tarte stuff. This is Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm. Yeah. So, I have been using the e.l.f. Um, primer balm and um, I like it. I like it. I mean, I don't really, you know, it's not something I'm absolutely in love with, but um. I wanted to try the Tarte one to see if there was really a dramatic difference. Here's what it looks like, and you can tell I've used it a little bit. Um, it is, you can't really see it on there, but it, oh yeah, you can, but it is like a bomb. Um, you, I use a, um, a flat, I want to say paddle. It looks kind of, it's a flat paddle kind of looking uh, foundation brush. Um, and I, you know, dab it in and um, put it like in my T-zone here where my pores are and stuff. I put it a little bit right here, over here, a little bit on my chin. And um, I really like it. I do definitely, definitely feel like it works better than the e.l.f. I feel like my makeup goes on better. I feel like it does fill in my pores and um, some of my wrinkles a little bit. So I definitely like this quite a bit better than the e.l.f. one. Um, so this I'm giving like a four and a half. I do really, really like it. It doesn't, um, I know a lot of the Tarte stuff has got like that wonderful coconut smell. This does not. It has no smell at all, which is fine with me. Um, I'd rather have no smell than a yucky smell. Um, oh, you know what? One thing about the Dr. Brand. I forgot to mention Um, okay. I'm giving this a four, but, um, I'm giving it probably, well, like another week or so using it because this is the primary thing that I've changed up this week and using and, oh my God, a pimple. not happy. So my skincare routine, everything has been exactly the same. 
and mama don't have, I mean, it could be a stress pimple considering the week I've had. Um, that's why I'm, I am giving this some more time. Um, but that is really the only thing I've added to my, um, my routine. So I was a little disappointed by that. Okay. Last but not least, and I've put this off for, I think two or three weeks now. First impressions on the Too Faced Coco Contour. Mom is giving this a 10. <laughs> no, I'll give it a five, full five. Um, I am in love with this. Uh, let me see. It's, I am going to be, um, doing a full face look, get ready with me with this soon. And, uh, where I do eyes, contouring, blush, everything with this one palette. Um, but yeah, I am in absolute love. And I actually just uh, traded a palette with a friend of mine for another one of these. I love it so much. Um, here is, ooh, the dogs. Good gosh. Okay, so it comes with a really good mirror. And I'm, you know, this was a big thing that we got in our boxy charm. So I know a lot of you have it. Um, but these colors are so, um, how do I want to put it? Neutral. They have such warmth to them. I feel like they work with cool tones and warm tones. Because I've, I have worn um, this contour palette with every look I've done since I got it. So pinks, blues, purples, browns, um, you name it. Worn, cool, every color spectrum. And this palette works. I use it for contouring. I use it. Um, to add a, um, a little base for my blush to um, for just a little bit of warmth. Um, and then whatever blush I'm going to be doing, I just blend it all together. Um, I do, I, I'm not big on contouring. Well, since I got this baby, mama started. And I've actually watched a couple of contouring videos. This comes with a really good instruction card. And it also shows you how to use these colors. Now, using these two isn't very noticeable, but ultimately, don't overdo them because you'll look like a clown. <laughs> but let me see if I have it. No. Um, like, generally what I do, I'm going to use this brush here. But I'll take the pink, which it's not, I guess it's a pink. I don't know. Um, and you can use the pink or the white, white cream. I don't know. But I will dab it right here. And that's one of the things they tell you on the instruction card. Um, it's not a highlighter, you know, that you would put, you know, in this area here. But it, when you put it like around here, a little bit up here, down here, it, and follow the instruction card that comes with it, it really works. Um, it just brightens everything up. And I do use a lighter concealer in those areas, but I don't go crazy just because um, it just doesn't look right on me. And because I do have, um, you know, aging skin in that area, I don't want to go too, too crazy emphasizing it. Like, boom, look at my wrinkles. So I like a lighter, you know, I want some depth, but I don't want it like too dramatic. Ugh. Mama's in love.
Mama is in love. These colors just work beautifully together. Using this one, you know, start right here at the top of your ear and just bring it straight down. Straight down. And stop where your eye begins. Right. I'll do, I'm going to do a video on this palette, but oh, I'm Jay. And it smells so good too. Ugh. Okay. Definite five. If you don't have this palette, you need it in your life. You do. Um, I absolutely love it. And I do not plan on living without it. It has become a staple item for me. And uh, I cannot say enough good things about it. Okay, that, that's it. I got through this video. And my mood is still okay. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. I finally did the contour palette. I have had that in my box for weeks to try to get to um, on my uh, first impressions. <laughs> and I keep running out of time. But we're at 30 minutes now. But I also did... Uh, you know, my little speech at the beginning of my video. Okay. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your favorite product that I did today. Let me know if you've had a better experience with some of my duds today. Um, I'd love to hear because obviously, you know, some of them I haven't had much luck with. But, um, you know, some of them I have. Some good, some bad. You never know. But that is it, you guys. Thank you as always. I appreciate y'all sticking with me throughout this. It is one of my longer videos, and I do apologize that it's, it's taken a minute. But I definitely wanted to get through those items, and uh, um, I didn't anticipate my little added speech at the beginning. But I did also want to, you know, touch base with you guys on, on that stuff, just... Because a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, some of the things that go into, you know, developing concepts and researching and, and stuff like that. And, um, and if you're newer to this, it's a great habit to get into. Um, it's also researching is a great way to come up with new ideas and then, um, finding a way to make them your own. Because you always want to make things your own and be original. So, that is it. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for hanging out with me. I love doing these premieres. You guys have been so good to me through this tough time. And um, I do appreciate you so much. So much. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Mm. I will talk to y'all soon. And uh, like I said, I do have some new things I'm dabbling in. And uh, hopefully there's more goodies. Well, more, you know, stuff to come. And uh, yeah. Also stay tuned for those. I've got some more um, chat, premiere chat giveaways coming. Um look at this thing look what I got from Ulta isn't that awesome I'm gonna do a little giveaway coming up um for that and for the chat but anyway okay I love you thank you and I will talk to y'all soon okay bye Mwah.